Hello, everybody. My name is Andriy Mironchenko. Welcome to my talk on small gain approach to ISS of infinite networks with homogeneous gain operators. This is a joint work with Navid Norozi, Christoph Kavan, and Majid Zamani. The main question for this talk is under which conditions is an infinite interconnection of nonlinear stable systems self stable? We provide several tools how to analyze this problem. The first tool is a general nonlinear small gain theorem for infinite networks. In this setting, we assume that all subsystems are nonlinear and the interaction between them is nonlinear as well. And we obtain a small gain condition which guarantees the stability of the network. How this works, I have explained in my previous talk in this session. In this talk, I assume that the subsystems are nonlinear, but the interaction between subsystems is of a linear type. And in this case, we obtain several refinements, which helps us to obtain very flexible result, which applies to max sum and other formulations of ISS property for subsystems. We obtain sharp results and rich machinery to check our small gain conditions. And also our results are very constructive. So it gives explicit constructs construction of an ISS Lepinov function. So in some sense, if our interaction is linear, this gives us final and strong results for stability of the networks. We can also extend such results to networks consisting not only of ODE components, but to the networks of PDEs and delay systems. But I'm not going to treat it in this talk for the sake of simplicity. So we consider an interconnection of countably many systems. Each of them is ordinary differential equation. Xi is the state of sigma i, Xi bar is the internal input, which is a state consisting of uh, neighboring, which consists of states of neighboring subsystems. And Ui is an external input to sigma i. We assume that Fi is continuance, and that this system is well posed. To write down the equations for the whole network, we collect all the states, all the inputs, and the right-hand sides into the corresponding vectors. And now we can write down the equations of motion for the whole network. The state space for the network we take as an infinity sum of the state spaces of subsystems. The space of input values is at infinity space as well. And the input functions are piecewise right continuous functions, mapping R plus to U. And the norm in this space we assume as at infinity norm. This fully defines the infinite network and we consider the Kara-Theodori solutions of this network. And we assume that it is well posed in the Kara-Theodori sense. Having fully defined the notion of an infinite network, we can proceed to stability analysis. We say that the system is input to state stable or shortly ISS, if the norm of the trajectory can be upper bounded as a sum of two functions. Function beta, which increases in the first argument and decreases to zero in the second one. And function gamma, describing the external the influence of external inputs. This function is zero at zero and increasing to infinity. It is also called asymptotic gain. So if we start somewhere here, and this is our trajectory, then its norm is upper bounded as a sum of beta and gamma in this way. Since beta decays to zero when time goes to infinity, then our trajectory eventually approaches the ball with the radius gamma of norm of u around the origin. In this way, one can see that ISS unifies the asymptotic stability in the sense of Leponov and the input to output stability. The main tool how we can analyze ISS are ISS Leponov functions. We say that a continuance function is an ISS Lepinov function if it satisfies such sandwich estimates 
with some Psi 1 and Psi 2, which are K-infinity functions. Also, Lyapunov function must satisfy such an implication that if the state is large enough with respect to input, then the Lyapunov function decays along the trajectory, which we express by writing that its derivative is less or equal than this term, where alpha is a positive definite decay rate. It is not hard to show that if there is an ISS Lyapunov function, then the system is ISS, and the converse can be shown as well if f is regular enough. This makes Lyapunov functions a powerful tool to study ISS, but it is not easy to construct these functions for networks of a large size. Therefore, we would like to do the following. We assume that our infinite network is well posed and all components are input to state stable, and we know Lyapunov functions for subsystems. In particular, this means that all vi have sandwich estimates, and we assume that psi1 and psi2 are uniform in i, so same for all Lyapunov functions, and also all vi must satisfy such implications. So what do we see here? If xi is large enough with respect to the total input coming to the subsystem, then the derivative of a Lyapunov function is negative. So vi decays along the trajectory. Let us see the structure of this total input. So here we may understand this as the magnitude of the in input coming from the subsystem J to the subsystem I. Okay, so this is like the influence of that subsystem. And now mu I, it aggregates all these influences into one total influence, total input. And this mu I can be here arbitrary, monotone, homogeneous, and subadditive function. In particular, it can be just a sum, then the total input will be a sum of the individual inputs, or it can be maximal or something different, okay? So, and in this way, we obtain some flexibility, how we can measure the influence of subsystems at each other, which helps us to obtain then very flexible conditions for stability of the network. So, okay, this implication must be assumed. Since this information is very important, we introduce such a gain operator, which encodes this information. So basically, it's if component is precisely this term, but with sj instead of this guy. And s is here arbitrary vector in L infinity plus. If all mu i's are sums, then our gain operator is of this form. If all mu i's are maximum, then this will be the gain operator. Okay. Let us see the properties of this operator. Well, first of all, we assume that it is well-defined, which is the same as to say that this condition holds. But also since all mu i's, all those aggregating functions are homogeneous and subadditive, we obtain that also the gain operator is monotone, homogeneous of degree one and subadditive. But now we need to understand a bit more about this operator. So now, Take any homogeneous and subadditive operator, not necessarily gain operator, and consider the corresponding discrete time system. Since gamma is homogeneous of degree one, we can introduce the concept of a spectral radius, just as by this Gelfand formula. And now the following holds. The spectral radius is less than one, if and only if, this system is uniformly globally exponentially stable. And this holds again, if and only if, there is a so-called point of strict decay for the operator gamma, which is a point in the interior of L infinity plus, such that gamma at this point decays uniformly in all components with uniform decay rate. Okay? And now this will be very important for our next 
result, which is the main result for this talk. So now we state our small gain theorem for stability of infinite networks. We assume that infinite network is well posed. We assume that all subsystems are ISS and we have ISS Lyapunov functions for all subsystems, as we defined above. We define the gain operator by this formula and we assume that its spectral radius is less than one. Then there, one can construct the ISS Lyapunov function for the whole network by this formula, just by taking the say, supremum of these scaled Lyapunov functions for subsystems. And this S0, which gives scaling coefficients, is precisely a point of strict decay of our operator gamma mu. In particular, our network will be ISS. So let me give some highlights. What we obtain is natural and tight small gain conditions. And we have numerous equivalent restatements for this condition in the paper, which I not present that. Thanks to this uh, flexibility to uh, take mu as we would like, we can treat many different applications. Also, we obtain a simple formula for a Lyapunov function for an interconnection. And moreover, we can even explicitly compute this point of strict decay as zero by this formula, where n is some number which is large enough, and we can even compute how large it must be. Further simplification can be shown if our gain operator is purely maximum or purely sum operator. We have also some further tools how to study stability of infinite networks. If we are not able to get Lyapunov functions for subsystems, we have also nonlinear small gain theorem in trajectory formulation, which works for a very general class of control systems, including multi-physics systems. Also, we have applications of this machinery to distributed control. And we can handle also the case of nonlinear gains, as I have explained in my previous talk in this session. Here you can see some references. In this first paper, uh, you can find the main result of this talk. It is accepted to systems control letters, meanwhile. And here you can see some related results. Thanks a lot for your attention.